What's up, Epic Roses Gamers? Welcome back to a brand new video. So the season just reset and we're having a brand new update just around the corner. So definitely put down in the comments what brawl you would like to see me push to rank 35 next because I have been in a little bit of a break here. But I'm feeling that I'm ready to get back on the grind on the rank 35 brawl. So you can see here all of my brawlers. Um, so yeah, put down in the comments what brawl would you like to see me push next. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be pushing the comment with the most like, so definitely put that in the comments. But for today's video, we will be going over the balance changes that just got announced today, and I'll be giving my opinion on what I think. So let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so since I don't have access to the developer build, so we'll be checking out the video by Radical Rush. He was so nice to allow me to um, yeah, react to his video, so definitely go. Uh, use credit code radical. There's still no credit code whitey. So use credit code radical. Uh, yeah, thank thank you so much to uh, to radical rush for allowing me to do it and go check out his video. We'll leave a like. But let's jump right into the band changes and I'll give you my opinion. Okay, so first off, we have a nerf on 8 bit. Uh, honestly, quite expected. Like we just saw someone push 8 bit to 1600 trophies. So that definitely says a lot about 8 bit and how strong 8 bit is. So definitely uh, expected nerf there. It's not that big of a nerf, but yeah, like really strong so somewhere else. For example, in Showdown, not so strong in free or free game modes, but definitely expected this nerf. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have a nerf to BB. Again, it's not such a major nerf, but I also like feel like. BB have been in the stronger end, and this is was like a well-deserved nerf for BB. Uh, she's still, in my opinion, gonna be pretty strong, and will still be used for competitive, for example. But guess we'll have to wait and see how much it's actually gonna change. It doesn't look look like much, but maybe there'll be some key interaction that will change. So we have to wait to see with that. But yeah, definitely also expected to see this. Super attack traps are now deployed in a fixed pattern. I love to see this. Um, a little buff to Brock's star power. Also, I don't think this is going to change too much. And uh, Also, just small tweaks to some of the star powers. Uh, here we have something quite interesting though. Daryl uh, is getting a buff to his uh, first star power that gives him a shield. And this one was already pretty strong. And we have already been seeing him being used in competitive game modes. And I feel like... With this buff, he can definitely be even more viable, and maybe he will even be preferred above uh, Bull on more maps now. And we're seeing a complete rework to rolling reload, so now he's getting double reload speed for 5 seconds after using his super. So, um, also, yeah, I feel like before it wasn't used that much, the second one, it just wasn't that great compared to the first one especially. And I feel like now that we are seeing Above to the first star power, the second one is still not going to be that great. But um, it could be super overpowered, but uh, I'll have to wait and see and try it out myself. Okay, so we have a small buff to Jean as well. She was already pretty strong, so she's just going to be even stronger now. Okay, and yeah, we have Leonia getting a buff to Invisi Heal. So that could definitely be pretty strong now. I feel like though the speed is what have been really strong for Leon. So that extra speed has allowed him to do some plays that the other guys really didn't expect and he could move from one point and one location to another one really fast. And that was what allowed him to make plays because people didn't expect it. And with Invisible, he just still feels very slow. And if he goes in this, people, they are still gonna be able to predict where he is pretty easily. So I feel like it's definitely um, gonna be interesting. Maybe it can be used now because it's gonna be a lot of heal. Um, so yeah, very interesting to see that buff on Leon. He definitely deserved that buff, but also a small buff, uh, nerf to the super duration. Okay, so we're seeing a Nita buff, and I feel like Nita had not been strong at all. I've been seeing people been using Nita a lot actually, but I, I just really have not been feeling Nita being very strong. Now this extra damage buff, maybe she can be even better at keeping control. And with the buff to the health, I feel like uh, Nita can all, almost be in the tank category now at this point. Um, so yeah, definitely Nita could be very strong now. And definitely excited to see where it goes. Personally, I don't hope that we'll see um, a meta with like Jesse and Nita being strong stuff like that. Because we have already seen that before. And it will basically just be a turret spam meta where people can just place down their turrets. And they will do all the work for them. So I don't hope we will see that again. But they have been out of the meta for a long time. And... Yeah, it will be um, 
pretty nice to see them back a little bit. I'll see how much this is gonna impact. Okay, a Penny main attack damage again. Another buff to the turret uh, brawlers. So this is just a really small one. But Penny well, is definitely already pretty decent. For example, for the Europe stock up. Um, that I'm probably gonna cover here on the channel soon. Like we saw Penny being played. So Penny is already pretty solid uh, on some maps. So getting this buff can definitely be pretty big. Especially since uh, this is gonna count also for the piercing shot. So in the end it can end up being a lot of extra damage that Penny is gonna be able to do. Okay, so Piper, we also see uh, a nerf and Piper is just the strongest brawler. Like I titled one of my videos playing with the strongest brawler and I play with Piper. Like Piper, in my opinion, is just so strong. And with this nerf, it's basically nothing. Like I don't think it's enough. I still think we'll see Piper be pretty strong. The thing about, about Piper though is like she's not strong everywhere. She's only strong. Uh, for example, and bounty on their open maps. So we're still definitely gonna be seeing Piper everywhere on those maps. Uh, I still don't think we'll be seeing it outside. So don't think this is gonna feel that much different. I don't feel like it. I don't think it's gonna be that much different with Piper. Okay, so for Poco, this is definitely super unexpected to see a buff. Uh, already super super strong, and going with tanks, you could heal up 600 damage. Uh, 600 HP that's like so much especially if you can burst out free shots is uh, almost 2000 extra damage and now with the buff it's gonna be over 200 this is such a big buff this is um, yeah very unexpected Poco is gonna be super super strong now and this buff to Poco is also gonna mean an indirect buff to tanks because Poco with the star power is works really well together with tanks so we're gonna be seeing this strategy being used a lot more now and definitely Poco is going to be one of the strongest for us in uh, gem grab for sure. So very unexpected and yeah, I don't know how I feel about this because Poco is one of the bros that is very easy to play because it's so easy to hit the, the main attack. Okay, so El Primo, uh, small buff to the first star power, uh, Meteor Rush getting a nerf. Um, this is going to mean that it's going to be more viable. Uh, to use El Foku or Meteor Rush, but I still feel like Meteor Rush is gonna be the best one. El Foku is just gonna deal slightly more damage, but that's not the main reason you even use El, El Foku, it's just to keep them uh, not rage in. But yeah, Meteor Rush seeing a little bit of a nerf definitely means that El Primo is gonna uh, have an even harder time against Bulls and the other tanks there, so I don't think we're seeing a lot of Primo this meta. Okay, Sandy getting this nerf that we have all been waiting for uh, since the release of Sandy. Sandy, yeah, finally getting the super nerf uh, down to 9 seconds. A little small health nerf and healing wind also getting a nerf. The main, the main thing here is definitely from 12 to 9 seconds. It's still gonna be strong probably. Um, I don't feel like it's enough, but yeah, it will definitely be harder to play Sandy now. And you can spam the super and have it up all the time. So yeah, it will be interesting to see how strong Sandy is. But I feel like now we all want to see Sandy everywhere. Uh, maybe only in the game modes where Sandy is good and like uh, like Jam Crab for example. Okay, so Spike getting a buff to fertilize. So uh, yeah, I don't know where's the nerf to um, Curveball. I don't know. Uh, buff to the first star power is gonna make it like more competition between the two star powers but really i just want to see a nerf to curveball because it's so no skill um but yeah spike was decent sometimes but it really depended a lot on the matchup so i feel like spike is going to be more viable now and hopefully we'll be seeing more people use the first star power or the or the second one like hopefully now it will pay off to use the first one if you're good with spike uh yeah pretty interesting okay so we are also getting a buff to tick so tick just got a nerf here in the most recent uh, balance change that we have had. So seeing Tick go up again, uh, I mean Tick is like was very strong because of the duration that the mines are on the ground uh, from the main attack. So having it all the way up to two seconds feels like so much again, and it's gonna be so much area control. I don't know uh, if it's gonna be too much, but looking at this, it's it looks like a, a lot, um, but it's hard to tell really. Um, when I before we can play with it, but I, yeah, it looks like a lot, and it looks like Tick is definitely gonna be really solid and probably better than Dynamite for sure, and probably also better than Bali now for the most part. 
Okay, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. That was all the banner changes. So I'm definitely super excited for this new update that will come very soon. And I'm most excited about power play. But comment down below what you're excited about. What are you looking forward to the new update? Also, I'm definitely uh, very happy that they're bringing back Life Leech. One of my favorite game modes. And I'll definitely be doing a lot of gameplay with that on the channel. But that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in one of the next videos. Bye.